everyone, in this video I will discuss applications of trigonometric functions. We'll talk about right triangle trigonometry and also we'll discuss bearings later in this video. I want to start with this problem right here. There's a flag on top of a building and with the given information we have to find the height of this flag. So to start with I'm just going to call the height of this flag X. All right, from there to there. Height X. Now let's see. We're given these angles. The angle of elevation from this point, 100 feet from the base of this building, to the bottom of the flag is 40 degrees. The angle of elevation from this point to the top of the flag is 50 degrees. Alright, so how are we going to get X? Well, can we get the height of this building perhaps? And I can call that I can call that height B. I'm going to write that down. We'll find height B. Alright. And we can see, alright, height B plus height X is this entire height or distance. And I'll call this entire height or distance A. I'll write that down. A. All the way from here, all the way to the ground. Alright. So, X plus B equals A then that means x must equal a minus b. I'm going to write that down. x equals a minus b. So if we can find a, if we can find b, we'll just subtract them and get x. Height of that flag. So let's start with a. Now a, notice there's two right triangles here. a is the height of this big right triangle, which has this big 50 degree angle there. We've got the adjacent side 100, the opposite side we'll call it A, opposite and adjacent, which trig function, TOA, tangent. All right, so I'm gonna write tangent of 50 degrees equals opposite A over adjacent, 100. I'll multiply 100 on both sides. So 100 tangent of 50 equals A. All right, now let's go get B that. Now B, that's the height of this building. That's this smaller right triangle right here. This one right there with the 40 degree angle. Angle of elevation. All right. So in that right triangle, tangent of 40 degrees equals opposite, which is B, over adjacent 100. Multiply 100 on both sides. So B will equal 100 tangent of 40 degrees. So, get these two values, subtract them on the calculator, we'll have X. So let's see, X equals A minus B. Make sure your calculator's in degree mode. 100 tangent of 50, close the parentheses, subtract 100 tangent of 40, and I get about 35.3 feet. So everyone, X is roughly 35.3 feet in height, height of the flight. All right, let's talk about bearings. A bearing is an angle. Yeah, a bearing is an angle. It's an acute angle. That means it's less than 90 degrees. It's measured from due north or from due south. Okay, yeah, everyone, you got north, and you got south, and you got east, and you got west. Well, a bearing is an angle that's acute, measured from due north or due south. Let me give you some examples. Uh, let's say, all right, then 50 degrees, and then I'll put uh, E. This is a bearing, <clears throat> and we read this as 50 degrees east of due north. Indicates the direction 50 degrees east of due north. To sketch this angle, <coughs> start by drawing due north, and just go straight up, there's north, and then go 50 degrees east. All right, 50 degrees right in there, Whoop. there you go. Here's another one. 
and 40 degrees W. We read this as 40 degrees west of due north. So I start by drawing due north. There's north. And I go 40 degrees to the west of due north. He's right in there. And this indicates a direction. The angles. Indicates this direction right there. This indicates this direction right here. Bearings. Let's do two more. Uh, how about all right, S. 30 degrees. E. So how do we read that? We read this as 30 degrees east of due south. We're going to sketch this angle. Start by drawing due south. Let's go straight down. Straight down. That's due south. And now I got to just go whoop, 30 degrees to the east. Right in there. There you go. And how about S? Uh, 20 degrees with a W. We read that as 20 degrees west of due south. How do I sketch this? Start by drawing due south. Here's my due south. All right, S. And I'm just going to go 20 degrees to the west. Not very big angle. 20 degrees right in there. Once again, these indicated direction. So here's this direction. This direction. All right, these are bearings. Yes, they're acute angles. They indicate that direction. All right, let's do application problems. Do two of them that involve bearings. All right, so you're given a word problem, everyone. Ooh, word problem. And you're told that sh there's two ships, we'll call them A and B. And A is, uh, well, how about this? There's a lighthouse directly south of ship A. Okay, so you read that, and first thing we can start making a sketch. All right, ship A. And directly south of this is a lighthouse. All right, there's ship A. Then you're told that ship B is a hot, uh, no, is 10 miles east, east of ship A. So we'll take this, put a point right here. Let's go 10 miles this way. All right, 10 miles. And we'll put B. All right, here's that lighthouse. Now, you're given a bearing. Here's the bearing. And you're told the bearing from ship B to the lighthouse is this, which we read as 35 degrees west of due south. So we got to draw something. We got to draw this angle, don't we? All right. Well, start with due south. Go straight down, right? And we're going to go 35 degrees to the west. There we go. There's that angle. 35 degrees. Okay. And uh, in this problem, you have to determine the distance from ship A to the lighthouse. So I'll make a segment there. So that's what we're looking for. Ship A to the lighthouse. It's directly south of it. So we make sure it's directly south. Whoop. All right. And this, we can see a right triangle right here, can't we? All right. So, a triangle. We need this distance from ship A to lighthouse. We can call that X. And we need an angle in here. And we can get one angle, we can get the other angle. Sum of three angles add up to 180 in this right triangle. Right here, that's 90 degrees. 
these two angles here have to sum to 90 degrees. So if that's 35, what's 90 minus 35? 55. So this angle right in here is 55 degrees. And actually, if this is 35, that means this angle over here is 35 because these are called alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are congruent. All right, and sure enough, yep, they add up to 90 plus this plus this 180. All right, so we can use the 55 degrees or the 35 degrees. Let's use the 55 degrees. All right, if I use 55 degrees to solve this problem, X is opposite, 10 is adjacent, O and A, opposite and adjacent, tangent. All right, tangent of 55 degrees equals opposite of the 55, which is X, over adjacent, which is the 10. Multiply 10 on both sides. X equals 10 tangent of 55 degrees. Got the calculator. Degree mode, right? Always check your mode. 10 tangent 55. And it comes out to be about 14.3 miles. All right. So X is roughly 14.3 miles. Ship A is 14.3 miles from that lighthouse. Okay, one more. Another application problem with, with bearings. All right, yeah, we're at bearings even to you. This time, let's say you are located 10 miles to the east and six miles south of a harbor. So we need to make a sketch. Let's just put our harbor. We're located 10 miles to the east, six miles south of that harbor. So we'll go 10 miles this way. We'll go six miles south. All right. A little bit longer there. Tennessee. Yeah, all right, good enough, right? <laughs> Not to be drawn perfectly to scale. And this is our ship. So we're told our ship is located 10 miles east of the harbor and six miles south. All right. I have to put south, just leave it at six miles, right? The question. Find the bearing from the ship to the harbor. All right, if you sail directly to the harbor. So if you sail directly to that harbor, find the bearing from the ship to the harbor. All right, so I'll just connect these. We need the bearing from this ship to that harbor, so we need an angle. And I'll call that theta. Here's our 90 degrees. There's our right triangle, and with this angle theta, we've got 10 opposite, we've got 6 adjacent, opposite and adjacent, tangent again. Let me set it up. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now, remember to find this on a calculator, we're looking for an angle. Theta equals inverse tangent of 10 divided 6. You can also read this as the angle whose tangent's ratio is 10 over 6. An acute angle whose tangent's ratio is 10 over 6. And to do that in calculator, you just got to hit second tan. So I'll hit second tan on the TIE 384. 10 divide 6. And that angle is about 59 degrees. All right. So the is roughly uh, 59 degrees for that angle. 59 degrees. Now, did we answer the question? Recall the question was find the bearing. We got to write this as a bearing. So, we look at this. We'll find the bearing from the ship to the harbor. Aha! We're going to call this due north, correct? Due north, and that's to the west of due north. So, I'll put N 59 degrees with a big W. This is our bearing from the ship to the harbor, 59 degrees west of due north.
start bearing. Okay. That's it.